dividing functions. We have here three different functions. f of x is equal to 4x plus 12, g of x is equal to x squared plus 10x plus 21, and h of x is equal to 4x plus 28. Paano ba mag divide ng functions? Let's try this one. f over g of x. It means we need to divide f of x by g of x. f over g of x is the same with f of x over g of x. Now, kailangan lang natin yan i-substitute. For f of x, ang gagamitin natin ay 4x plus 12. 4x plus 12. Then, for g of x, ito naman. x squared plus 10x plus 21. x squared plus 10x plus 21. So, we have this rational expression. And to simplify this, kailangan nating applyan ito ng factoring. So, kailangan yung balikan yung mga lessons nyo about factoring. So, yung numerator at yung denominator, if a factor natin sila parehas. Magsimula tayo sa numerator. You look at the numerator, 4x plus 12. What factoring method can we apply? So, yung 4x at saka yung 12, meron silang common factor. So, pwede natin gamitin yung common monomial factoring. Kunin muna natin yung common factor nila ng 4 at ng 12. And that is 4. Kasi itong 4x at yung 12, parehas silang pwedeng madivide sa 4. Now, after getting the common factor, kunin naman natin yung remaining factor by dividing this binomial by the common factor. So, 4x plus 12 divided by 4. Isa-isang term natin i-divide. 4x divided by 4. That will just be x. Then, positive 12 divided by 4. That's positive 3. To check kung tama tong factors natin, pwede nyo naman siyang i-multiply. So, 4 times x, that's 4x. And then, 4 times 3, that's positive 12. Then, for the denominator, since this is a trinomial, gagamitin natin yung factoring general trinomial. And to do that, we just need to get the factors of 21. That will give us the sum of 10. Ano bang factors ng 21? Pwedeng 21 times 1 or 7 times 3. Which of these two pairs of factors will give you the sum of 10? Pag pinag-add, 21 plus 1, that's 22. 7 plus 3, that's 10. Ibig sabihin, itong 7 and 3 ang gagamitin natin sa ating factors. So, kapag nag-factor kayo ng trinomial, magkakaroon kayo ng dalawang binomials. Factors ng first term, x square. So, paghiwalayin lang natin, dalawang x. And then, Yung factor na nakuha natin dito, itong 7 times 3, yun yung magiging second term ng ating binomial. So, positive 7 and positive 3. After nyo ma-factor, yung numerator at saka yung denominator, pwede na kayong mag-cancel out. So, para ma-simplify natin, cancel lang natin yung common sa numerator and denominator. Common sila sa x plus 3, cancel. Now, kung ano yung titira, which is 4 for the numerator, and x plus 7 sa denominator, yan na yung answer. So, 4 over x plus 7. Again, balikan natin. Paano natin nakuha yung factors? Sa numerator, gumamit tayo ng common monomial factoring. Pwede kayong manood ng video about that. For the denominator naman, we use factoring general trinomial. And we obtained x plus 7 times x plus 3. Mag-try pa tayo ng ibang example. f over h of x. So, this is the same with f of x over h of x. So, ang f of x natin is 4x plus 12. Then, h of x naman natin ay 4x plus 28. Again, to simplify this rational expression, kailangan nating applyan ng factoring. For the numerator, ito pa rin yung numerator natin, katulad kanina, 4x plus 12. So, kailangan lang natin kunin yung common factor ng 4x at ng 12. At ang common factor nila ay 4. Then, get the remaining factor by dividing this binomial by 4. 4x divided by 4. That's x, positive 12 divided by 4, that's positive 3. Now, for the denominator, 4x plus 28, pwede din natin itong i-factor using common monomial factoring. Kuhanin lang natin yung common factor ng 4x at ng 28. So, yung 4x at 28 pare silang divisible by 4. Pwede natin yung gamitin as common factor ng 4x and 28. Now, after you get the common factor... Divide this binomial by 4, so 4x divided by 4, that's x, positive 28 divided by 4, that's positive 7. Na-factor na natin sila parehas. Pwede na tayong mag-cancel out. Cancel what's common, parehas silang may 4. Cancel natin yan. So, ang natitira na lang ay x plus 3 
over x plus 7. Tandaan na hindi nyo pwedeng i-cancel tong x. Okay? Kapag ang separator nila ay addition or subtraction, hindi nyo basta-basta pwedeng i-cancel yung term kapag ganun. So, the answer is x plus 3 over x plus 7. Another try. How about g over h of x? This is the same with g of x over h of x. So, for g, we have x squared plus 10x plus 21. And for h, we have 4x plus 28. Then, simplify. Apply lang tayo ng factoring. For the numerator, meron tayong trinomial. So, pwede natin i-apply ang factoring general trinomial. Just factor the last term. Pwede 21 times 1 or 3 times 7. Hanapin nyo alin dito sa dalawa yung magbibigay ng positive 10. So, pag pinag-add, 21 plus 1 is 22, 3 plus 7 is 10. So, it means, ito yung kailangan natin gamitin. So, let's write. Equals, for the numerator, ang factors natin ay dalawang binomials na may positive 3, this one, at positive 7. For the first terms, kukunin lang natin yan sa first term ng given trinomial. So, x squared, paghiwalayin lang natin, that will be x and another x. For the denominator, 4x plus 28, Pwede natin siyang i-factor using common monomial factoring. Ano ang common factor ng 4x at ng 28? That's 4. So, that's their common factor. Then, divide lang natin. 4x divided by 4. That's x. Then, positive 28 divided by 4. That's positive 7. After factoring, simplify. Cancel what's common. So, common sila dyan. x plus 7. Ang natira na lang, sa numerator, we have x plus 3. Sa denominator, we have 4. So, the answer is x plus 3 over 4. Last example, h over f of x. So, this is the same with h of x over f of x. So, for h of x, we have here 4x plus 28. Then, for f of x, we have 4x plus 12. To simplify, just factor them. For x plus 28, the numerator, we may use common monomial factoring. Common factor nila ay 4. Yan din yung ginamit natin kanina. Okay? To get the remaining factor, divide each term by 4. 4x divided by 4, that's x. 28 divided by 4, that's positive 7. Then for the denominator, 4x plus 12, what is their common factor? That's also 4. Then, to get the remaining factor, divide each term by 4. 4x divided by 4, that's x. Positive 12 divided by 4, that's positive 3. Simplify by cancelling common factor. Pwede natin i-cancel yung 4. So, ang natira sa numerator ay x plus 7. So, denominator naman ay x plus 3. So, the answer is x plus 7 over x plus 3.